Okay, so Bill Gates is backing the first high altitude experiment of one radical climate change solution, creating a massive chemical cloud that can cool the earth. It's called solar geoengineering and it's highly controversial. Let's have a listen. Bill Gates is backing the first high altitude experiment of one radical climate change solution, creating a massive chemical cloud that could cool the earth. It's called solar geoengineering and it's highly controversial. How long will it be that countries keep experiencing these climate impacts before someone gets desperate and says, hey, we need to cool the planet with solar geoengineering? It would look something like this. Thousands of planes would fly very high and use nozzles to inject millions of tons of light reflecting particles into the stratosphere. It would create a thin chemical cloud of those particles around the whole planet, blocking some sunlight from reaching the surface. It would mimic a giant volcanic eruption, which we know cools the earth. As we can see, this isn't the best thing in the world. What's happened before is uh, we, we there have there have been like a lot of people seeing sprayed stuff going all over the sky. There's a lot of problems in England at the moment. People are saying that the sky is just always grey. England has a reputation for being grey, but people if if there are people in England complaining about the grey sky, which they normally well they always mention it, but they don't complain because it's just always there. But there there are some days of blue, but they're saying there are no blue skies anymore. And when you look at things like Blade Runner and um, other films, sci-fi films, sometimes in these sci-fi films, you know the whole the whole world is sort of quite grey. And normally what's happened is is either there's too much pollution or we've damaged the ozone layer. And so what's happened is we've put this sort of protective layer around. And then what happens is the governments realise that the ozone layer has has um, healed but they don't take over this they don't take out this gray layer that they've left there so that they can keep keeping the people under control through one way or another i don't know paying taxes to keep something uh, to keep these chemicals there and what, what this is about is if you block the sun then the sun can't warm the earth but the other problem is is that humans need sun it changes our mood it changes our mind it changes everything about us and i think that this is actually you could be read as an attack on people because we need to have the sun in our lives. It's so important to have fresh water, which none of us have, to have fresh food, which little of us have, to have um, unvaccinated animals, which very few have, to eat. Um, and now, you know, our, our world is going to be changed by these uh, engineering, en engineering things. Now, this is hubris. Uh, hubris is when someone flies too close to the sun after they've made wings made out of wax. We have no idea about what we're doing. What happens with all of these chemicals? Well, they fall to earth. Then what happens? You breathe them in, you eat them. You know, what are these chemicals? What's the reaction? And again, you know, very much like these other science. In the past, when you had scientific experiments, the doctors used to experiment on themselves first because they were altruistic. They believed in what they did. Now they experiment on everyone else. And they don't care what happens to the people because the point is, is that the people become ill. And the people come ill believing that they're trying to help the people protect their lives. So in the, in the form of protecting people's lives, they destroy people's lives, which is the inversion that we're seeing so often going on at the moment. And there are prophecies as well about what will happen. One of the prophecies that I've heard is that there'll be a time when the sky will go red or yellow or uh, orange or something like this. And it's going to be a warning. And I can see them spraying this stuff into the sky and either there being a reaction where it goes that color or the thing actually being that color. And um, I, I think that the, what they're doing is very dangerous. Um, they've been doing it for a long time. Many people have been called uh, conspiracy theorists. These chemtrails... Um, have always been around and now that is it's coming out that this cloud seeding is coming out as well and it, it was true all along um the chemtrails were happening and did happen and it was denied and we need to ask ourselves well what other things are happening that the government's denying that in 30 40 years are going to come out as if oh yeah well you know the last people in government you know like 20 times ago they said it wasn't but it was so go and get them and put them in prison oh they're all dead well there's nothing that we can do but they but they started the process off so again you can't trust the government and you know all sorts of problems there